Teotihuacan is one of the most important archaeological sites in the world. In its peak in the first few centuries CE, Teotihuacan was the largest city in the Americas. It was extremely planned on this uh, grid-like system with huge monuments like over here, the Sun Pyramid and the Moon Pyramid to the north. This city was clearly built to impress. You'd have to imagine these temples as vibrantly painted, involving sculptures, having big uh, incense burners billowing smoke, having people blowing conch shell trumpets up on top of them, and having rituals happening on the top. Teotihuacan's been known for centuries. It never was a lost city. Archaeology in earnest takes off about 100 years ago. Monumental archaeology, is, as we like to call it, is really focused on the pyramids, the places of power, not so much asking questions of what was life like in the city. A major trend in archaeology over the last few decades has been a focus on households. You can look at the daily patterns of life, food ways and how people ate, the sorts of rooms that you would sleep in or live in. The monumental can be very romantic and awe-inspiring, but a myopic focus only on the monuments can give you a much more top-down view of history or almost like a great man narrative of history. And so by looking at households, we're helping to answer some of these questions of who were the real people who occupied Teotihuacan.